This is Quercus lobata, or the valley oak. I'm on SRJC campus right now near Emeritus Hall. Myself and my assistant here, Professor Rigby. Valley oak, beautiful species. For this one, it's in the white oak group. It's got nice lobes. It's deciduous and there's no prickles there on the leaves. This one looks very similar to white oak, Quercus gariana, and to add even more confusion into the matter, they hybridize. One of the best ways to tell a valley oak from a white oak, however, deeply, deeply lobed leaves. So here the sinuses, or the space between the lobes on the leaf, are very deep, that they're almost down to the midrib. This is a very classic valley oak. The leaves are maybe two to four inches long, not too long. Um, sorry about the construction going on in the background. The top is a nice dark shiny green and the underside is considerably paler. And the midrib, let's see if I can get it in the light there, the midrib is quite yellow at the bottom there. So if you turn it over, that main vein has a nice yellowish color to it. The bark is really beautiful. This is a massive, massive valley oak. So here's hand for scale. This has, I think, like alligator-like bark to it. So it's got these nice deep furrows, flattened ridges, and it's a nice grayish, whitish color. The acorns are rather adorable. So here they get to be about two or so inches long. This one is relatively fresh, so it's still nice and green. It'll turn a chocolatey brown as it matures. And here is the oak cap. So the cap of the acorn is really, really warty. Let me see if I can get that in focus. Take your time. Take your time, camera. There we go. Nice and warty. Very warty, rough to the touch. And before I popped it off, this only enclosed the very top of the acorn. So unlike some of the other species where it's a quarter to a third of it is enclosed, this one's only got a warty little hat at the very base of it. Since it's in the white oak group, if you find an acorn cap, rub the inside of it and it's actually hairless. So it's a nice smooth surface inside. So if you can find an acorn cap, that's a good giveaway that's in the white oak group. So once again here we've got beautiful example of Quercus lobata. Nice spread open canopy because it's growing in a nice happy environment here on the SRJC campus.